before we begin the story here at Starlit Nap, relax, release, and enjoy. Glass House. Starlit Dreams. Beneath the shimmering waves of the ocean, where sunlight danced in playful patterns, a world of mystery awaited. The depths held secrets that few had glimpsed, a realm where wonders from myths and dreams were said to reside. Among those who sought the mysteries of the deep were two divers, Aiden and Maya, drawn by an irresistible curiosity that led them on a journey of unexpected discovery. Aiden and Maya had shared a fascination with the ocean since their childhood, where tales of ancient cities and hidden treasures had captured their imaginations. With every dive, they delved deeper into the watery expanse, seeking the elusive wonders whispered of in stories and songs. One fateful day, as the sunlight filtered through the waves, Aiden and Maya found themselves exploring a coral reef, its vibrant hues a testament to the ocean's artistry. As they swam deeper, their eyes caught sight of a subtle glimmer, an enchanting iridescence that beckoned them further. Intrigued, they followed the shimmering trail, their hearts pounding with anticipation. The water seemed to carry an energy, a thrumming melody that resonated with their very souls. They swam with a sense of purpose, as if guided by an invisible force toward a destination unknown. And then, as if by some magical design, they stumbled upon it, a structure of translucent walls, gleaming like the facets of a rare gem. A glass house beneath the sea, hidden away from the world above. Aiden and Maya exchanged amazed glances, their excitement mingling with disbelief at their extraordinary find. Intrigued and undeterred, they approached the glass walls, their hearts racing with a mixture of awe and anticipation. Within the glass house, they could see a world that defied explanation, an otherworldly realm where the sunlight refracted through the water, casting enchanting patterns across the surfaces within. Aiden placed a hand against the glass, feeling a curious vibration, a resonance that seemed to echo through his fingertips. Maya joined him, her eyes wide with wonder. As their hands touched the glass, the water itself seemed to come alive, swirling with a luminous energy that pulsed in time with their heartbeat. And then, a melody, a haunting song that carried on the currents, enveloping them in its embrace. It was as if the glass house itself was singing, its ethereal tune a symphony of the depths, a chorus of stories waiting to be heard. Maya turned to Aiden, her voice hushed with awe. Have you ever felt such a connection to the sea? Aiden nodded, his gaze fixed on the mesmerizing display before them. It's as if the ocean itself is sharing its secrets with us. As the siren song continued to weave its spell, Aiden and Maya found themselves drawn into the glass house's depths. Their exploration transformed into an immersion into a world of dreams. They swam through corridors of light, where stories seemed to materialize in vibrant hues, telling tales of civilizations long forgotten, creatures of legend, and the interconnectedness of all life in the ocean's embrace. The glass house beneath the sea had become their sanctuary, a place where the boundaries between reality and imagination blurred. With every passing moment, Aiden and Maya's connection to the underwater haven deepened, and the stories it held began to intertwine with their own narratives. And so, within the depths of the ocean, Aiden and Maya's journey into the glass house beneath the sea had begun, a journey that would lead them to uncover the mysteries of the past, explore the depths of the human spirit, and forge a bond that transcended time and tides. 
As the siren's song echoed through their souls, they were guided by its melodies, ready to embark on an adventure beyond anything they could have imagined. In the heart of the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's sense of wonder only deepened as they explored the enchanting corridors and chambers within. Each room seemed to hold a unique narrative, a story waiting to be unraveled by those who dared to listen. In one chamber, they discovered intricate murals that depicted ancient civilizations, their histories etched in colorful details. Aiden and Maya marveled at the tales of kings and queens, explorers and inventors, all who had left their mark on the world above and the sea below. In another room, they found a garden of bioluminescent flora, each bloom a canvas of vivid colors that seemed to paint the stories of nature's resilience and beauty. They floated among the glowing petals, their movements a dance of reverence for the intricate balance that existed in the underwater world. As they journeyed further, they encountered a room adorned with tapestries woven from the threads of memories. Aiden and Maya reached out to touch the tapestries, their fingertips brushing against the fabric of lives lived, dreams pursued, and moments cherished. They saw glimpses of people's joys and sorrows, all captured within the intricate weave. The siren song that had initially drawn them and now seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves, a melodic reminder of the stories that echoed through the glass house. Aiden and Maya's connection to the melody had transformed into an understanding that they were part of a greater narrative, that the glass house was a living testament to the shared human experience. One evening, as the glass house glowed with the soft luminescence of twilight, Aiden and Maya found themselves standing in a room where the walls were adorned with stars. The room seemed to bridge the gap between the depths of the ocean and the expanse of the cosmos above. As they looked up, their eyes met the constellations that shimmered through the glass ceiling. Aiden's voice was a whisper, carried by the currents of the siren's song. It's as if we're standing at the intersection of the sea and the stars, where stories from both realms converge. Maya nodded, her gaze fixed on the cosmic tapestry above. We've discovered a place where the boundaries of the world are blurred, where stories from different walks of life intertwine. As the siren's song continued to weave its magic, Aiden and Maya found themselves drawn together, their hands reaching out to touch the glass ceiling as if to bridge the gap between themselves and the stars. The melodies of the ocean and the cosmos seemed to harmonize, creating a symphony that resonated through their very beings. In this moment, they realized that the glass house was not just a place. It was a vessel of shared experiences and interconnected narratives. Aiden and Maya's exploration had become more than just a journey. It was an immersion into the universal language of stories, a reminder that the human spirit was bound by common threads of longing, aspiration, and wonder. And so, within the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's journey continued, a journey that transcended the boundaries of time and space, where stories whispered from the depths of the ocean met tales that sparkled in the starlit skies above. As the siren's song echoed through their souls, they knew that they were not just divers who had stumbled upon a hidden treasure. They were witnesses to the symphony of humanity's shared experiences forever etched within the walls of the glass house beneath the sea. Days turned into nights and nights into days within the glass house beneath the sea, and Aiden and Maya's exploration became an ever-evolving dance of discovery and connection. The glass walls held more stories than they could fathom, each chamber a testament to the diverse narratives that had shaped the human experience. 
In a room adorned with sculptures that seemed to breathe with life, Aiden and Maya encountered representations of courage, love, and resilience. The sculptures told stories of triumph over adversity, of individuals who had dared to dream and carve their own paths in the world. In a chamber where the walls were covered in intricate mosaics, Aiden and Maya found visual tales of unity and diversity. The mosaics depicted people from all walks of life coming together, celebrating their differences and finding strength in their shared humanity. As they moved through the glass house, Aiden and Maya realized that each story they encountered was a reflection of the collective human spirit, a mirror that showed the intricate tapestry woven by people from all corners of the world. The siren song, which had once guided them to the glass house, had become a chorus of voices united in a symphony of dreams. One evening, as they stood by a wall adorned with windows that framed underwater vistas and celestial panoramas, Aiden turned to Maya with a question that had been lingering in his mind. Do you think the glass house was meant to bring us here? He wondered aloud his voice carried by the soft current. Maya considered his words, her gaze fixed on the mesmerizing scenes before them. Perhaps, she replied. It's as if the glass house sensed our curiosity, our yearning to understand the stories that shape us. Aidan nodded, his eyes reflecting the awe he felt. And in return, it has given us a glimpse into the collective human experience, a reminder that we're part of something larger than ourselves. As the siren's song continued to weave its enchantment, Aiden and Maya reached out to touch the windows, their fingertips brushing against the glass. They felt a connection, a thread that connected them to the stories and experiences of people from all walks of life. In this shared moment, they understood that the glass house was not just a repository of tales. It was a vessel of empathy, an embodiment of the human spirit's capacity for understanding and connection. Aiden and Maya's exploration had led them not only to discover hidden wonders but also to become part of a larger narrative, a narrative that celebrated diversity, shared experiences, and the enduring power of stories. And so, within the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's journey continued, an odyssey of connection and exploration that transcended the confines of the ocean. As the siren's song echoed through their souls, they were reminded that stories were bridges that connected hearts that the glass house was not just a physical structure but a manifestation of the human spirit's longing to understand and be understood. As they moved through the chambers and corridors, Aiden and Maya's bond deepened, and their appreciation for the stories that had shaped them grew stronger. With every dive into the glass house's depths, they dived into the sea of humanity's shared experiences ready to embrace the symphony of stories that echoed through the glass walls beneath the sea. As the days flowed by within the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's exploration took them through chambers that held both the familiar and the extraordinary. Each room seemed to have a unique tale to tell, a narrative that spoke to the essence of the human experience. In a room filled with flowing curtains of shimmering light, Aiden and Maya encountered stories of hope and transformation. The curtains seemed to sway with the currents of time, revealing glimpses of individuals who had overcome challenges and adversity, emerging stronger and more resilient. In another chamber adorned with mirrors, they found reflections of emotions and experiences, reflections that showcased the complexities of human life. The mirrors revealed moments of joy, sorrow, love, and introspection, 
inviting Aiden and Maya to contemplate their own journeys and the connections they had formed. The siren song that had guided them to the glass house had now become a part of them, an echo in their hearts that resonated with the melodies of the stories they had encountered. Aiden and Maya's exploration was no longer just a journey. It was an immersion into the ocean of human experiences, a reminder that every life carried its own unique narrative. One evening, as the glass house filled with the soft glow of twilight, Aiden and Maya found themselves in a chamber adorned with journals. The journals seemed to hold the whispered thoughts and reflections of individuals who had found solace within the glass house's embrace. Maya reached out and picked up one of the journals, her fingers tracing the delicate script on its pages. It's as if these journals hold the essence of the people who have been here before. She mused. Aiden nodded, his gaze fixed on the pages of the journal. Their words become part of the glass house's symphony, a chorus of voices that have woven themselves into the tapestry of this place. As the siren song continued to weave its enchantment, Aiden and Maya began to read the journals, immersing themselves in the thoughts, dreams, and musings of those who had come before them. With each journal, they felt a connection, a bridge that spanned time and distance, uniting them with kindred spirits who had sought solace within the glass house's walls. In this shared moment, they realized that the glass house was not just a vessel of stories. It was a sanctuary of connection, a place where the boundaries of time and space were rendered insignificant by the universal language of the human experience. Aiden and Maya's exploration had transformed into a shared odyssey of empathy and understanding. And so, within the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's journey continued, a journey of connection, contemplation, and shared exploration. As the siren song echoed through their souls, they knew that they were not just divers who had stumbled upon a hidden treasure. They were participants in a symphony of human experiences, a chorus of voices that celebrated the shared narratives that connected them all. As they moved through the glass house's chambers, Aiden and Maya's bond grew stronger, and their appreciation for the stories that had shaped them deepened. With every journal they read, with every room they entered, they felt a sense of unity, a reminder that stories were bridges that connected hearts, that the glass house was not just a place but a sanctuary of connection and understanding. And as they ventured further into the depths of the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya were ready to embrace the melodies of the stories that awaited them, to become part of the symphony of humanity's shared experiences, forever echoing within the glass walls. As their exploration within the glass house beneath the sea continued, Aiden and Maya's connection to the stories and experiences deepened. Each chamber they entered, each tale they encountered became a testament to the universal threads that wove through humanity, the desires, hopes, fears, and dreams that bound people together across time and space. In a chamber adorned with images of landscapes from around the world, Aiden and Maya marveled at the beauty of diversity, the vibrant cultures, the varied landscapes, and the stories that had shaped civilizations throughout history. They realized that the glass house was a sanctuary that celebrated the mosaic of human existence, inviting them to appreciate the rich tapestry of life. In a room illuminated by the soft glow of lanterns, they found stories of friendship, compassion, and connection. The lanterns seemed to flicker with the warmth of shared moments, 
reminding Aiden and Maya that the true essence of the human experience lay in the connections they formed with one another. And so, surrounded by the symphony of stories within the glass house, Aiden and Maya discovered that they were not just explorers of the deep, they were participants in a timeless narrative that celebrated the human spirit's capacity for empathy, understanding, and unity. One evening, as they stood by a wall adorned with windows that showcased the ocean's expanse and the cosmos mysteries, Aiden turned to Maya with a contemplative expression. We've experienced so much within these walls, he said, his voice carrying a sense of awe. Do you think the glass house was meant to teach us something? Maya looked at him, her eyes reflecting the profound connection they had formed. I believe the glass house is a reminder of the stories that connect us all. It's a place where we learn to appreciate the diversity of experiences that shape the human journey. Aiden nodded, his gaze fixed on the mesmerizing scenes outside. And through these stories, we learn that our individual narratives are part of a greater whole. As the siren song continued to weave its enchantment, Aiden and Maya found themselves drawn to a room where the walls were adorned with inscriptions from visitors who had come before them. They read words of reflection, gratitude, and hope, each inscription a snapshot of the moments that had resonated within the glass house's embrace. In this moment, surrounded by the echoes of shared experiences, Aiden and Maya realized that the glass house was more than just a physical structure. It was a sanctuary of connection and understanding. Their exploration had become a testament to the power of stories, the impact of shared moments, and the enduring bond that connected hearts across the oceans of life. And so, within the glass house beneath the sea, Aiden and Maya's journey reached its conclusion, a journey that had transformed their understanding of the human experience. As the siren's song echoed through their souls one final time, they knew that the glass house was a place of unity, a space where stories converged, and where the symphony of humanity's shared experiences resonated eternally. Hand in hand, they turned to leave the glass house behind, their hearts filled with a sense of gratitude for the connections they had formed and the stories they had encountered. The glass house, with its ethereal melodies and walls adorned with the echoes of the past, had become a part of their own narratives, a reminder that within the embrace of shared experiences, the human spirit found its truest expression.
Thank you.